what is up my great subscriber this is joking johnson before here to show you guys the gameplay that was pretty much solid and pretty much declaring on the k7 because uh the k7 you know it's rarely used by everyone and i'm here to show you guys that it's a pretty good gun it's a pretty much of an underdog gun because you know as i told you before this gun has been used the less by everybody in the COD community. I don't understand why, but I'm guessing it's because, you know, there's the Vector CRB, there's the Honey Badger, there's several other guns that are pretty much popular within amongst the, you know, the community. So, uh, I'm here to show you that the K7, I'm telling you, it's a great gun. I discovered the one of the best underdog guns before, and I'm here to show it to you again, and it's, it's the K7. So, um, you know, several of the times, several of the con conflicts that I, s that I faced in this map were, um, you know, from the second level, where people camping, where the K7 pretty much reacted pretty well to them because it remained stable. So that's what you want in your guns, guys. That's what you want from an SMG because, you know, every single SMG shoot faster than any other weapon out there in the whole Call of Duty game. So, except for the, I think... There's an SMG out there that actually shoots really slow, but you know, overall, you know, as I told you guys before, I'm here to discover underdog weapons, and uh, the K7 is the number one in my list right now because the K7 is rarely used, and that guy really surprised me right there. I mean, I could have taken him out with a panic knife, but uh, you know, I decided to him instead. I, I, I trusted in my K7. So, anyways, yeah, the whole enemy team was camping up there. Like it was really pathetic. I mean, come on, man, no camping around this time. And also, like, half of the team was carrying LMGs. It's almost LMG National Month, anyways. And there was a guy in the second floor. I should have noticed faster before I got killed at some point of this part of the video. But anyways, uh, yeah, the K7. Hell of a gun. I'm telling you, I made it so freaking stable. So powerful that for sure it's going to bring back rushing. Because uh, what I ha how I have it set up is just made for rushers. No camping. You just can't camp with this gun. You gotta be moving around. You're gonna surprise the enemy. That's the point of this best class setup: surprising, uh, your stability, and uh, you know, earning your kill streaks. That's what's pretty much it. And uh, this gun is doing a hell of a job with it. As you can see, I'm already 39 and 18. I could have survived a little bit more, but uh, you know, some guys were actually camping so bad that I was like, "God damn, I got taken down because this guy's waiting for me already." And then you know, they knew where I was coming from. And also, there was enemies behind me. I don't even know how the hell they even, you know, followed me behind. I know there was, like, only one rusher in that team. And the rest of them were campers or people were carrying LMGs that were moving so slow. So, yeah, that guy that I just killed right now is probably the rusher that from the whole damn team from the enemy side. And right there, I don't even know why did I go with a freaking uh, C4. It should have been uh, more of a rush or more of a stand back because there was, like, around two guys around there. That one on the second floor, the other one's like, right there facing me. So yeah, um, and also this is one of the, my top favorite stages to play here in Call of Duty Ghosts because, uh, you know, the several routes and the several, um, you know, levels that it has, and I, that's what I enjoy the most about this map, you know, uh, having levels, having multiple paths in order for you to get from a point A to point B or from point B to point C, you know, that's why uh, I choose these kinds of maps. Nothing, you know, simple is uh, going to keep me from uh, getting more interested in the game. So anyways, uh, the, here's a... Uh, very long range shot with the K7 as I told you guys before it's a very stable class setup I'm telling you test that out right now go test it out the K7 it's a hell of a gun it's just that you gotta have the right attachments the right perks in order for you to in order for you to uh, make this SMG functional and right there I got killed by a freaking IED or something I don't even know what the hell I think he noob to me you guys saw the you know the history of the of the kills I think I got new tube. I, I just saw it, and um, it's pretty much pathetic when people just pull that off. Also, that's what I've been noticing lately. A lot of people are pulling off the the, Ch the China Lake. I don't know if it's called like that or not, but uh, you know, people are taking out more of the grenade launchers. I don't even know why uh, or who made them thought about that. You know, the grenade launchers are rarely even used in Call of Duty Ghosts, and now they're pretty much making a comeback. I don't know why, but I'm guessing somebody out there, some big YouTuber, did talk about the grenade launcher. So, um, whoever mentioned it is pretty much pathetic because, uh, you know, you're making people into noob tubers. <laughs> exactly how, uh, you know, what's his name? White Boy Seven Street made his subscribers actually camp in certain places. That was pretty much pathetic. But yeah, I'm, I'm teaching you guys how to rush and just keep an eye on my gameplay. I mean, everything's about rushing here. I've been rushing since Black Ops 1 and it got me somewhere, you know, I was ranking the top 15 in the whole world for both Domination and Team Deathmatch. 
Right here, I'm going to try to be the defender because I know these guys are like trying to capture every single flag in order for them to win. I mean, look at the score, 173 to 132. We were actually tied like, for a while like in the middle of the match, but then, you know, after I've been getting some kill streaks, like I actually got the battle hind and the gun turret, you know, I placed them in the right places and, you know, that was that's what pretty much shut them down in the whole game. And there's an IMS right there, I'm trying to put it down. And, um, yep, I do know there's a guy coming through there because they usually just spawn right there and then. And also, I ran out of bullets. That's one thing that really sucks about this class setup, that I don't have scavenger on it. So, this is one, I, one of my uh, few class setups that actually don't have scavenger. Like I told you guys before, um, Black Ops 2, I told you to always have scavenger. Well, this time I'm not, not, I'm not carrying scavenger, because I remember back in the day, back in Black Ops 1, um, I rarely, or not even, I had never used scavenger, actually. On um, Black Ops 1, I never used scavenger, and right there, that was a terrible tactic. I don't even know why I put a gun turret right there. I guess I was in a hurry, you know. I mean, once you're in adrenaline mode, uh, you, you don't even expect to, or to put a gun turret down. So, I mean, like, yeah, whatever. I just put it down just to put it down. I mean, just double security. And right there, that really confused me right there. I was like, all right, they shot me from the left, or what, what the hell is going on? Uh, but they were actually right in front of me. That stupid hit indicator really uh, confused me though. I don't even know why he told me they shot me from the left when when it was completely from the front. So um, so yeah. Anyways, what was I talking about? <laughs> so anyways, oh yeah, about the scavenging. You know, I never used scavenger in Black Ops One, and here's a really really stable kill. And the reason why I never used it on, on Black Ops One is because I used to pick up different weapons after I, I finished my 1874U, or sometimes I don't even finish it. Like I'll, I'll even get my kill streaks. And not even worry about myself because I'm already like up there shooting from the chopper gunner. So that's why you know I rarely even mentioned scavenger back in the day, back in Black Ops One. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why I never used it because I got my kill streaks way too quick and you know I didn't have to worry about anything. So there it is, guys. My record is 59 and 24. I think I could have done better. I think I would have gone like at least 50 uh, or 64 kills with 15 deaths. I think that would have been better, but you know, that's the highest rack, rack kills I did with a K7. Actually, the second, the, the first is 68 kills. So leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Ghost strategies, please subscribe for more.